What's up, guys? It's Little Teddy with Little Teddy Fragrances, and we're back here with another quick review. This one's from the house of Le Fleur de Golf, which is a French house based in Paris, I believe. And we have here is Night Flower and Cashmere. So these ones are two good fragrances. One I like a lot more than the other. We're going to get into that right now. So first, let's get into Night Flower. So what comes to mind with this fragrance, keywords is fruity, silky, and creamy. Uh, the creaminess, I believe, is from the tonka bean, which really rounds out the whole composition. And pretty much the whole composition is very round. It does have citrus going on in this fragrance with the le lychee and some other type of, uh, I think I believe, mandarin is in this. But overall, it's a very silky, silky, smooth, creamy type of a fragrance and a very airy uh, type of fragrance. If you if you can kind of think of a Baccarat Rouge without smelling like Baccarat Rouge, that's kind of how this develops uh, on skin, at least in my opinion. The longevity is pretty decent as well as the projection. It, it sits within, I think, about seven inches is about the projection bubble you're going to get on this. So nothing pretty much outside of arm's length. I haven't got any compliments on this. I haven't worn it too much as well but overall it's a good fragrance i like it a lot like i said there's nothing sharp or overly masculine going on there's no earthiness it's a very posh type of fragrance it's definitely probably about 50 percent feminine and 50 percent masculine nothing really super abrasive about this fragrance it is overall nice and it is kind of semi youthful because of the fruitiness but the fruitiness doesn't come off like shampoo or anything like that i do believe this is a year-round fragrance but i believe as well though that this one shines in cooler months uh, because it is so round that the, there's no sparkling type of notes or anything to really pop off that makes it pop off the skin there's no embroxin or anything like that so anyways that was night flower and I give that one a 7.5 out of 10. It is nice. It's not a must buy in my opinion. And so we're going to go into the one now, which I like a lot more, which is Cashmere by Le Fleur de Golf. This one is a lot more brash overall in this composition. It has stellar performance. I get almost a day and a half in longevity. And this one leaves the scent trail, guys. This one definitely is for someone who not necessarily wants to make a statement but does want attention it, it definitely uh the composition is nothing outside of this world but it does definitely grab people's attention uh walking by so this is again a very unisex 50 50 fragrance i will have to say too that this also bears a resemblance to my nose of byron parfums mula mula Maybe about 30%. It definitely almost has a, a, a fuzziness about it that's very similar to Mula Mula. It's very hard to describe, but it's definitely a good thing that I'm bringing this up. So, great fragrance. I believe what gives it the fuzziness that's really nice is the suede that's in here. So, there's suede in here, and it really kind of differentiates itself from other sweet type of fragrances. So, just to say, Night Flower is, is sweeter than Cashmere, but Cashmere is a little bit more complex uh, to my nose. Both are great fragrances. I give Cashmere a nine out of 10. I think it's a great fragrance to start out with from Le Fleur de Golf. There is other fragrances that I've heard is actually really, really good as well. I haven't tried any other from this house, but definitely make sure to try out Cashmere at least. Night Flower is a great fragrance as well. It's a lot more subdued and it's not as try hard. It's a great elegant fragrance. Both of these are made with great, great notes. Night Flower, a little bit more simpler, very, very smooth, made with great ingredients. Cashmere definitely has more going on in my opinion and definitely is a lot more brash than Night Flower. Both of these are great. Night Flower, I gave 7.5. Cashmere, 
really up my alley gave it a nine out of ten similar to byron parfums mula mula just a little bit uh and it's definitely a good one for unisex uh purposes i think byron parfums mula mula is a little bit more masculine in my opinion so anyways check these ones out there's another one from this house i believe that also smells like cookies so i'll definitely uh, check that one out i forgot the name unfortunately but anyways check this house out let me know what you think this is little teddy with little teddy franks signing out peace